corrosion. This video is going to talk about corrosion, what corrosion is, um, and methods of preventing corrosion. A metal corrodes when it gives up electrons. So you'll see here iron will become iron, two plus ions, plus two electrons. The metal is said to be oxidized. Remember, oxidation is loss of electrons. And this usually occurs by oxygen in the air. There are two forms of corrosion, dry corrosion and wet corrosion. Dry corrosion is direct reaction with the oxygen in the air, and this is a slower process than wet corrosion. In wet corrosion happens a lot more quickly. So let's talk about rusting, which is basically the oxidation or corrosion of iron. The reactions involved in wet corrosion are as follows. Iron goes to iron 2 plus plus 2 electrons and this of course is the oxidation reaction because it's the loss of electrons. Oxygen plus water plus 4 electrons will form 4 hydroxide ions and this is the reduction reaction. These two reactions you'll see on your electrochemical series. So the overall redox reaction, we need to multiply the top equation by 2 and then just bring everything down. Multiplying that by 2 will cancel out the electrons. So you'll get oxygen, 2 water, ions, 2 iron ions, and 4 hydroxide ions. This is the interesting part of the equation now because this will react again to form iron hydroxide. This iron hydroxide here is a green precipitate, a very pale green precipitate or solid. Further oxidation of this precipitate by air will lead to brown iron hydroxide. So here we have the iron hydroxide from up here, plus oxygen, plus water now makes iron 3 hydroxide. This will then partially dehydrate or lose water to become iron 2 oxide and this is what we commonly know as rust. So you can see it's quite a complex process, there's a few different steps and a few different series of oxidation occurring but importantly Water plays an important part, and this is why wet corrosion occurs much more rapidly than dry corrosion. The other part that makes it occur more rapidly is that rust is quite porous. In other words, it's got lots of holes in it. So once rust starts, it continues rapidly because that water can get in, and so it, it perpetuates the process or makes it go faster. The water is acting as a salt bridge, so it's helping to connect that circuit. So here's just a diagram that's out of your textbook. The anode here causes the breaking up of the iron. So the iron is leaving, it's breaking up and forming iron ions. At the cathode, you've got the um, oxygen reacting with the electrons to form the hydroxide ions and those hydroxide ions with the iron ions will precipitate to form iron hydroxide and that process continues from there. And here's just showing you on the electrochemical series that iron solid is reacting with the oxygen and the water which is above it in the electrochemical series. Rust is a hydrated form of iron oxide. So corrosion, commonly called rusting, involves chemical change, including oxidation of metallic iron to iron-3 ions. What drives this spontaneous reaction? If we could zoom in close enough, we'd see that a steel object is made up of a lattice of iron atoms with tiny lumps of carbon dotted through the lattice. Some of these will be exposed at the surface. 
If a lump is in contact with water, it will have contact not just with water molecules, but also dissolved salts and dissolved oxygen from the air. What we have here is a kind of natural galvanic cell. The carbon acts as an electrode because it provides a ready location for electron transfer. Here's what happens. When an oxygen molecule slams into the carbon, it grabs two electrons, which are dragged through the iron lattice from an iron atom. The oxygen readily reacts with water to form hydroxide ions. At the same time, the iron atom gives up two electrons to become an iron two iron, which is repelled out of the lattice and dissolves into the aqueous solution. Without access to this solution, there's no way for iron two ions to be formed. This explains why rusting happens much more slowly in dry conditions. Let's have a look at the effects of corrosion. Weakening of steel structures. Most of our bridges and ships and all of those things are made of steel and steel is an alloy of iron and carbon. Remember alloys, you've got big iron um, particles and you've got small carbon particles put in between that. The more pure metal, the slower its corrosion. So steel's going to rust more quickly than, than straight iron by itself. Increased wear and tear on machinery, and you'll see this often. And rusted electrical systems, which can be quite dangerous. Rate of corrosion will increase, and I like this picture because it pretty much sums it up, with the presence of impurities, such as pollution, with high levels of salt in coastal areas. You'll find that cars that live by the coast have a much shorter lifetime and will corrode a lot more quickly and rust than cars that aren't near the ocean. And people will wash them more regularly to get rid of that salt. And in regions of stress, 